everyone, Ed Dellis, Stermo guy here. I want to talk a little bit about this area here on the steering wheels. You know, if you have a top wing that extends all the way around and comes to the front so that you have leverage up against it when you're driving, the problem is in the event of a kickback when your front tire hits another uh, car's tire or it hits a wall, the wheel can spin so quickly you can't even see it and you need to be able to get your thumb out from underneath there. And the way you do that is you don't trap it. In fact, when you're heating this area and molding, you want to simulate the escape. Again, turn it back to the camera here so you can see. You want to have this rolled so that the thumb can come out. And you'll notice here, there's a little bit of grinding marks here because on this particular steering wheel, there was a sharp edge there. So I took a die grinder there and rounded that off so that uh, in the event that there is a kickback and the wheel spins quickly, the driver's glove doesn't catch that sharp edge. The other thing too, I call them index rollers, and that is again, if the, if the steering wheel is molded with a top wing that comes out, when the hand turns this way and the hand opens up on the bottom, what ends up happening is you can get a blister here. So while you're molding, turn the wheel this way and let your index roll a groove here. Again, you got your thumb release here and your index roller there. This palm heel here is also very good for pulling down for the turns, whereas the top wings are good for pushing up. So that's today's lesson, and we'll catch you next time.